how things do change in the um, realms of teacher student relationship. Yes. Police are investigating a physical fight that took place at Rocky Mount High School on Monday. A video of a teacher assaulting a student recently went viral across social media platforms. Fortunately, nobody obtained any injuries during the duel at the time. Uh, there's probably, I would say, there's millions of people who have watched this here. Now, maybe I'm a genius, or Man of Man is just a little cuckoo or something, but uh, what on earth is going on? The, the things have dramatically changed, man. I mean, <laughs> the most, I mean, fighting a teacher, number one. And don't get it twisted. People did try and do that kind of thing. Not to that level, you know, maybe uh, through a punch or something like that or push them out of the way kind of thing. Which is alarming to say the least. You're supposed to, you should respect elders and also respect people in authority positions, especially if you're in a school environment. Now, things can happen where boundaries are overstepped, etc. But this is just mad. And then another thing, the huge brown elephant in the room is we have an adult here regardless if she was a substitute teacher and obviously doesn't have a relationship or doesn't understand who where the potential problem students are etc etc she's an adult she should have restrained that young lady and uh, not went full force into a ground and pound and all kind of other stuff that was taking place Let's um let's let's peep it. Let's peep it. Let's peep the madness. Hey, you finna give me my stare? Yeah. Hmm. Now let's pause it right there. Let's pause it right there. I know it's the growing year of the twenty twenty three, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I don't recall going to school and having a teacher dressed in a a, a, a a mini dress, mini skirt. A skirt indeed, which was above the knees. That was seen as a no-no. Children, the pupils, were not allowed to wear skirts, dresses that were above the knee. They had to be below the knee also. She's an adult. Hmm. Clearly things have changed. Why isn't she wearing tights? Why is she wearing like, uh, you know, shorts or pants under that there? She got G strings on. What is this world coming to? Look at this. Look at the insanity. This is a child. What is she doing? This is madness. She's getting into mad position. Look at this. 45 second exchange. Look, she's tapping. The little girl's tapping out because the adult is applying her whole, well, 60 plus of her body weight directly on her head, leaning on her head. This is, this is wrong on all levels. Number one, and I ain't going to take too long because this is just a little ski taste, man. This is a ski taste. What? Who raised that young lady? And I'll call her young lady. I won't disrespect her, but who raised that young lady to, to do those kind of things? She was indeed correct. That's her property. Um, I would imagine <laughs> how mobile phones are these days. We didn't have that issue at, at school. We had pages, okay? We had pages, and that was it. Now, no one teaches taking my son, no, my property, uh, and they're not going to get it, right? But we're not swinging blows after them and stuff what we do is we go home and tell our parents and say you never guess what the crazy teacher in essence robbed me they stole my mobile phone off me and then your parent would then deal with it you don't start swinging and all that kind of business and then the teacher not to just to hold the little child in her in her hands and say don't do that i'm your teacher I may be a substitute teacher, but that behavior is unacceptable. Mobile phones, 
social media. Even adults are glued to these little crack phones. Yeah, they're glued to them. So the phone is her world. So I, I can get the overreaction in regards to violence, but again, violence don't solve much things in this kind of scenario. Parents, we got to do better. And the education system, I know we're in a, a, a bit of a crisis, you know, getting quality teachers and stuff. Uh, how about paying them? How about paying doctors, nurses, uh, teachers? Wages comparable to our or to your superstars, i.e. these athletes and stuff. They should be begging for more money. Not teachers who are, uh, who are uh, should we say, what are they doing? They are helping to mold the next generation, right? Doctors, nurses, what are they doing? They are helping to heal people, right? So why are they striking? Why are they talking about getting underpaid and moving over to the private sector and all this madness? This is this is, you know, there's multiple layers of problems here. I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm at a loss for words. My last for words, this isn't the only example. I can, I'm sure, <laughs> looking at other bits and pieces, we can get and see all kind of stuff. I, I've seen the videos of the children, male children at that, fighting their teacher. And this could be black, so-called black. This could be so-called white. This could be Asian. This could be all types of people. And they're fighting teachers. <laughs> I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted. It's not even funny at this stage. It really is not even funny at this stage. It's it's it's, it's depressing. It's depressing because we've got good teachers out here. Why are they allowing teachers to dress like they're going to a dance? Hmm? What kind of what kind of impression is that going to leave on a young child, male specifically? Let's target the males. Seeing thighs, legs, cleavage. All shapes of bodies and stuff when they've got all kind of testosterone all coming up they're just you know feeling themselves and starting to take an interest in women or girls and they've got a teacher who's dressed highly inappropriately hmm? that's it when i go to anyway like comment subscribe share and give me your thoughts man this is sick the whole situation is sick adios